Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Majora's Mask, we're here, or I, I promised we would be, in first day, and we need to head on into, well, Snowhead, and as you can see, Snowhead is this enormous looming tower in the distance, so, something is obviously wrong here though, because, uh, as you'll remember, this is where Darmani died. So let's go ahead and see if we can... See what's going on. What's that? There's something in the middle of that blizzard. Can't you see it? Oh, it turns out it's a giant Goron. And he's sneezing. And that's what's causing the blizzard. Okay. Makes sense. No, it does not. Goron Lullaby 8, 8, A right, left. Uh, do I have to be looking at him or something? Let's try it now, then. Am I close enough? Oh, it's got to be the bongos. Yeah. My mistake. I was like, why isn't it working? It should be working. falls to his death. Well, probably not, because he's a big boy. Now, Darmani, on the other hand, he definitely did die. Sad. All right. If you're good at this game, you could probably roll through here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that was a close one. I am not gonna. Oh, I'm gonna avoid these chuck wagons, I'll tell you that much. I'm not interested. Leave me alone. I have done nothing to no one. Maybe I should don the bunny hood. Make this a little faster. Let's go. Oh no. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Run away. Okay, that one falls off right there. We should be fine. Oh, hush. Welcome. I could hear them from all the way up here. Welcome to Snowhead Temple. I'm going to go ahead and wait for these. Oh, that is rude. Okay. I think that was all of them. Welcome to Snowhead. Now, as you could have seen from outside, what is it, Tattle? Hmm, this is kind of big. It's going to take more than average strength to move this thing. Yes, Tattle. It's going to take Goron strength, like I was saying. Um, you could probably tell from the outside. This is going to be uh, a very vertical level. 
right, two hits, and that guy is dead. We got ourselves three doors, and thankfully they're color-coded. Obviously, that one we can't go through because it's locked. And that one we can't go through because it's frozen. There's only one door we can go through. And that is this one. So let's head on over here. We got ourselves a chamber with... I'm going to need some arrows. Oh, yes. I forgot it's slippery. What is it, Tattle? At slippery places like this, you can curl up as a Goron and roll your way across. Why don't you try it? Because, Tattle, I'm trying to explain things. I don't have a single arrow, which is a problem. All right. Now, like she said, we can roll across. What we really need to do is kill those enemies. Those are called uh, fr frizzards. Um... I'm gonna try, I'm gonna actually jump down, or climb down, rather. Uh, there's a stray fairy down here. But importantly, um, I might be able to get some jars with arrows. Please? Anyone? Bombs are great. But I'd like some arrows. Okay, well, maybe not. Now, Goron Link can walk across the lava, so we're good. And you saw the stray fairy up there. Uh, really? Well, we need an air. We're gonna... It's super annoying. <laughs> oh, I didn't know Goron Link could climb... Uh... I didn't know Coral Link could climb ladders. Uh, but anyway. Sadly. Uh, we're going to have to. This might take me a couple of tries, actually. I always had trouble with this. Right. I can get frozen, so you got to be careful here. Okay. There's the second stray fairy, but n still, we need arrows to do this. So. Gosh. Nary an arrow. Not not a one. Not a one. Let's see what Tattle has to say about the frizzards. They won't tell me you don't know about frizzards. Watch out for its icy breath. I hate the c c c cold. Me too, dude. What I hate more, though, is not having arrows. All right, we're going to go up the stairs, and hopefully we can get some arrows up here. Now, this enemy is called a bomb chew. That's like a real bomb chew as opposed to a fake one. That's a real bomb chew. It runs at you with its pack, uh, with its pack of explosives to protect yourself or ails. We'll go ahead and just bump into it, let it kill itself, uh, transform back into... Hopefully, we can get... I don't want money. I don't want money. We can go ahead and get our first stray fairy here. Sadly, no arrows. That's okay, we got the map. Um, we can't head upstairs for now. There's nothing we can do. There's a freezer there. Uh, for now, we're just gonna have to head back. And since we didn't get any arrows, we're not gonna be able to get those stray fairies yet. I don't think Goron Link can jump. I'm gonna make this jump with regular Link. Give me arrows or give me death, man. Okay, well, that sucks. I want that. Don't care. I don't care if it hurts. <laughs> it hurts so good. That was actually totally worth it. I really want to get these fairies. And I'm sure I can just get a heart here. Exactly. 
That's what I thought. All right. Oakley Doakley. I really didn't want to leave without getting the arrow, the fairies, just because, like, I have this plan in my head of how this is going to go, and it involved me getting the fairies right now. Naturally, I got to time this so I don't get frozen. Nice. Well done. Good lord. Maybe I can get him from here, huh? about that All right switch over to wow link there we go come to me okay that's number two back to Goron I didn't mean to do that. We do have to roll across. That's why I didn't want to take off the mask. But all right. I'm just going to line myself up like this. Nice and straight. Okay. Okay, nice and straight. Let's back it up. Okay. Beautiful. Beautifully done. And we'll go ahead and pop this one. Okay. Back over to... Yay. Okay. Now we can go through. Yes, we can. Okay. So this is the main chamber we're going to be coming through here basically the entire the entire time and our goal is to get to the very very top. Okay. Now, from here, there's not much we can do, um, except head across. There, um, that's through here. I think that's, we're, no, we don't want to go that way yet. We want to go across. I'm just going to go through the yellow doors uh, right over here. All right, I was just making sure there are no bad guys here. Now, these are too heavy for regular Link, but Goron Link can go ahead and pull these out. Like this. Okay. Get some magic. Come in here and get ourselves a small key. Now, what we want to do with these blocks is we want to push them all the way over there. Uh, we're going to be using these later. So we definitely want to push them as far as we can. And then, like this. And then, like that. Beautiful. That creates a chest over there. We obviously, well, I don't say obviously. We cannot get to it quite yet. But we will. Now, from here, 
Um, there's not much we can do. Again, we're kind of stuck. We do have the ability to go through that door, though. If we switch over. Do I have a Deku stick? I do not. I'm going to have to use an arrow to melt this door. Just like that. Go ahead and switch back over. Okay. Now we have a key and we can go through this door. There are two wolfos in this room. I'm going to go ahead and kill them just to get them out of the way. I missed the rupees. Come on. I'm not going to get the other two. They're too close to the ice. It'll hurt me. Kill this wolfos as well. Just, again, to get them out of my face. Uh, this chest is going to contain... The compass. Many of the dungeon's items will appear on the map. From here, I'm going to punch some... Hopefully, maybe if I, I'm regular Link, I'll get more arrows. I don't think it worked that way. Yes, it did. Beautiful. I think I have bombs. Yes, I do. I'm going to throw a bomb. We'll place a bomb right here. We'll walk away. All right. Switch back over to my bow. Right, this place. You'll notice upstairs there are many giant stalactites and some smaller ones. What? It's an icicle. It's just like the one we saw outside. Correct. So, what we need to do is basically just knock them all down. They'll fall down, they'll destroy the ice on the platforms, and then we can jump across. The little ones that are just kind of really pointy, those will fall on you. When you get close, that's bad. This one probably takes more than just two. One, two, oh no. Oh, there's one in the background. Right. I thought it was just one big one. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, hmm. Can we climb, please? Oh, see? Look, look at that. That's so cruel. Ah, right on the head. All right, whatever. Nope. Maybe the bunny hood is not the best idea. Let's go sans bunny hood. Because what we want to do... There's actually a stray fairy right... In there. Actually, yeah, you're right. I am going to need the bunny hood to jump up there probably. To get enough of a run. I thought it was in a bubble. Uh, but it is not in a chest. I don't think I need the... Yeah, there we go. Hello? Hello? Where am I? Oh, okay. Can I... Why can't I open the chest? Do I need them? Do I... Do I need the lens on? Oh, okay, I gotcha. That's... Whatever. <laughs> okay. Um. Carefully. 
We're gonna make our way to that big boulder. To that big snowball here. And we're gonna punch it. We gotta be gore on Link though. Yes, yes. There we go. I'll actually take more. I'll take more rupees, yes. Get ourselves a key. <sighs> Might as well break these. Doesn't hurt. Yeah, Goron, we're on Link Hand Job. Confirmed. Oh, yeah. Annoying. First of all, let's talk about how much I hate these little guys. It's just a white bow. Calm down and attack it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are just a lot of them, okay? Oh, you little... There we go. How dare you? How dare you? Okay, so this puzzle room is a bit of a pain. You gotta pound the switches, which make different platforms go up and down. So, let's go ahead and start. What now, Tattle? What? You think you can push down something this big just by standing on top of it? You're going to have to find some way to pound it down. Listen here. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Don the bunny hood. Hop across. All right. We're going to pound that one. But first, I'm going to go ahead and... See if there's anything good in here. All right. We're going to hop on this one. And I believe it's going to make the one in the middle pop up. Yeah. Great. Then you pound this one. Wait, did I do this wrong? I might have done this wrong. Did I do this wrong? I do believe so. Hmm. Yes. Let's try this again. I think it's this one. Okay. Then I think we have to do this one. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> okay. So I have to hit this one, raise that platform, pop that one, pop the one in the middle. Then the green one, right. Okay. This one. Right. Mm. 
this one. I don't know why I did that. I don't think that was necessary. Then this one. This is annoying. <laughs> this one. <laughs> we'll get this eventually. That's what I was doing wrong. Yes, I was doing it wrong the whole time. <laughs> okay. In this room... We gotta be careful here. No, no. Alright. In this room... Looks like... We gotta go across. Line this up nice and straight. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Alright. Here we're gonna be practicing a skill that's gonna come in crucial later. We gotta go on roll across this little embankment. Okay, beautifully done. Um, yes. If you fall, if you don't make it, there's a ladder. You can just use it again. But we have ourselves a mini boss. Prepare yourselves. Oh, my mistake. This is not the mini boss room. This is supposed to be the mini boss room. Oh, right. It's across. I think. Don't make a fool out of me now. There's nothing we can do in that chamber yet. So it has to be this way. Yes. This is the one. And I'll take some arrows. Ah, that'll work. All right, prepare yourselves for the mini boss. This is a wizard robe. It's a wizard robe. You'll get your chance right when it starts to attack. Be on the lookout for it. Alright, well. Oh, that's... Oh my god, okay. Okay, that's how you do it. Alright, after three hits... Dang it. After three hits, it's going to change the strategy. Alright, we got to be better. Now it's going to start doing this thing. There's going to be one real one. And... 
Oh, that worked. Missed it. It's okay, gotta be patient, gotta be patient. That's okay. This is the one. One more hit and it should be dead. Oh no. Okay. This is actually a lot easier than using the arrows, I think. Oh no. Missed it. Oh. It's fine. Oh, I missed it again. This is the one. Really? Why don't you die? Ah, oh, walked right into that. Dang it. <laughs> Okay, finally. Whoa. All right, that was worth it because we get a pretty cool item here. We get the fire arrows. Uh, you could tell they're going to come in handy in this dungeon. Um, they will heat up when they hit. I think they also consume magic power, so we got to be careful. Now, you can equip fire arrows, and you, or you can equip regular ones if you don't want to waste magic. Oh, well, let's head back out. Where, where, where? Okay. Where is the door? Thank you. I will actually... Please, thank you. Take some hearts since I took a beating. And some arrows. Okay. We want to drop all the way down to the bottom. Um, all the way down. I believe if you roll down carefully... Yeah, exactly. You don't take damage. Watch out for the red bubble. Ignore. Just gonna ignore it. We're gonna step on this switch, though. I'm gonna head over. Wow, the slowdown. Come on, this should be fairy number five. Wait, I missed one. Hold on now. That should have been fairy number six. Hmm. Dang it! I know where I missed it. It's okay. Um, I know where it is. I know where I missed it. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, that's a stray fairy. Hold on now. Snag that, thank you very much. Okay. I think I can Song of Soaring my way to the beginning of the dungeon. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to go... Go to the beginning of the dungeon. Yeah. Do I want to... Is this how I want to do it? Hold on. Uh... Yeah, I'll see you in that room. I'm just going to see you in that room. And I'll show you where the fairy is. Okay, we're back in this room. Okay, there we go. Oh, one more. Okay, that should do it. Nope, nope, no, not what I meant. Take it off. Take off the mask, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, actually, it is right up there. You would never see it otherwise. Okie dokie. Waiting for it to come to me. Thank you very much. Okay. I feel better now. Gonna head... I should take this off. Gonna head back to the main chamber. And then pretend that I didn't not grab that. And we're going to start over as if I had. Okay, we're back in the main chamber, and... You know, we had fallen down there. There are some stairs there that lead to those stairs. And we would have climbed up, and we would are going to head over to... This green door that is frozen. We get to use our fire arrows for the first time. Very cool. So through this door, uh, we come across uh, a room full of freezers. Um, you can go down there. And if wow, that was a close one. If you fall, you can always just climb back up and go ahead and just. Kill these jerks. And that'll make a chest appear. There's a stray fairy inside. Plus it just makes it easier to navigate this room. Maybe I should bunny hood it. Just in case. Alright, we are heading... Okay, here we go. Stray Fairy number seven. I'm gonna get some magic. Because I'm gonna need it. Um, here shortly. Not what I wanted. No. Not what I wanted. Dag Nabbit. What is down here? I'm not going to get any of these jars simply because there might be magic inside. And if I fall again, I might want to use them to replenish my, my hearts and my magic. I hope I don't have to care, kill, kill the, the freaking freezers again. Although I have a feeling I will. I don't know how I fell, but whatever. Oh, goody. They are gone. Okay. I reckon 
it might just be easiest to stand on this platform and hit him. Right? Here we go. Wow. Okay. Hope this isn't timed. Okay. Oh, good. Sweet. Head through here. And we're standing on another big switch. Obviously, that means we pound. And that, ladies and gentlemen, creates uh, what I would guess, what I would say is like the second phase of this dungeon. With that pillar up uh, in the middle of the room, um, we can now climb ever higher. And our goal is, of course, to climb all the way to the top. 